Welcome back everyone, 86 Reviews here, and just a quick little update video. I'm sure you've all heard, I'm sure you've all seen it, um, but yeah, we've all known it was coming, uh, it was just a matter of when, and yesterday morning Tamash hit us with the first official images of SH Figure Arts Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. I think Tamashi waited for an event like uh, San Diego Comic Con to make the announcement, and the figure itself has been spotted on display along with upcoming figure arts uh, during as well at this event. Now the general consensus amongst the fan base, including myself, is that Tamashi kind of half assed the uh, hair and just repainted the uh, Raised on Earth Goku, head sculpt silver, lazy mofos. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining and I couldn't be happier that we are finally getting an official Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, an almost completely new sculpt of Goku for that matter. But being an avid collector, I'm not just a fanboy, and I definitely do have expectations uh, of this figure as well, like everyone else. It's still a little early, and I know some of us are hoping for a revision. Tamashi might go back and redo the hair. Probably not, but who knows. In any case, everything else looks fantastic. The proportions are spot on, the sculpt work on the new torso, all the musculature looks great. All the details just look so good. They even went as far as to what looks like sculpted in scratches and scuffs all over the body. Again, with the sculpted scuffs and scratches, uh, when I first saw this picture, I thought it was another band presto release, but I'm just really impressed by the sculpt work of this figure. Tamashi hasn't released any other information about the figure so far, but we can only assume that he will come with the standard Goku accessories, several hand options, and some different faces as well. Tamashi also just recently posted a photo on their Instagram account of Ultra Instinct Goku on display uh, at San Diego Comic Con with an ultimate shouting faceplate that looks great. But what I'm interested in is the aura effect piece that's behind Goku. Uh, it may just be a custom display piece for the event, and I'm sure it won't come with the figure itself, but if it is something Tamashi are planning uh, to sell separately, much like the power-up effect accessory uh, Tamashi has now, uh, I would totally be down for a new power-up accessory that is more suited for this version of Goku. We all know Jiren will come with effect accessories, so he is hoping that Ultra Instinct Goku will follow suit and give us at least a Kamehameha effect. Pretty pictures are nice and all, but the question of course is when and how? Will Ultra Instinct Goku be a Bandai Premium web exclusive? And how long do we have to wait until its impended release? Hopefully not too long as Jiren will need his Tournament of Power buddy uh, to stand next to him on my shelf. Tamashi is usually pretty good with giving us release dates and information after they release initial photos. So I'm guessing we'll get uh, some more information within the next week or so, maybe, hopefully. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in, have a great weekend and I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.